Why do men and women often seem to be speaking different languages? It's a question as old as conversation itself. This age-old puzzle is rooted in the myriad ways men and women process the world around them. According to Jordan Peterson, these differences aren't just personal, they're deeply embedded in our cultural and psychological makeup. He suggests that by not fully understanding these distinctions, miscommunications flourish, coloring interactions and expectations. To delve deeper, let's explore Jordan Peterson's insights on what women often misunderstand about men. Did you know biology plays a significant role in how men and women communicate? Jordan Peterson delves into the fascinating world of evolutionary psychology to explain why this is. According to him, the biological differences between men and women go beyond the mere physical. They profoundly shape our behaviors, desires, and the way we communicate. Historically, men have been hunters and protectors, roles that demanded a certain level of risk-taking, strategic thinking, and emotional stoicism. These traits have been honed over thousands of years and, according to evolutionary theory, are hardwired into the male psyche. This biological blueprint influences how men typically process emotions and communicate, often favoring action over words. On the other hand, women, often the primary caregivers, have evolved traits like empathy, verbal fluency, and high social sensitivity, skills that enhance nurturing and community building. This divergence in evolutionary roles has led to distinct communication styles. Generally, men are more direct and less verbally expressive, while women often excel in verbal communication and emotional expressiveness. These inherent differences set the stage for a complex interplay in everyday interactions. Men often feel a silent burden, one that is rarely discussed openly. It's a weight carried in the shadows of their everyday lives known as the performance burden. Jordan Peterson articulates this concept explaining that from a young age, society instills in men the idea that their value is tightly bound to their achievements. Whether it's in academics, sports, or the workplace, men are often measured by the yardstick of their successes. This societal blueprint suggests that a man's worth is predominantly determined by how well he can compete, excel, and provide. Such expectations are not just external. They internalize, shaping a man's self-perception and his interactions with the world. Men find themselves in a perpetual state of proving, a cycle that is both exhausting and unrelenting. This pressure shapes much of men's communication and actions, something that might be misunderstood by women. The silent struggle often goes unrecognized, yet it significantly influences how men navigate their world. Stoicism and emotional restraint are often seen as male traits. But what do these really signify? Delving into the analysis by Jordan Peterson, it becomes apparent that these behaviors aren't just arbitrary, they are deeply ingrained within societal and psychological frameworks. Men are often taught from a young age to moderate their emotional expression, to uphold an image of strength and resilience. This stoic demeanor is not necessarily about suppressing feelings, but about maintaining control and stability in the face of challenges. Why might men lean towards stoicism? It serves as a protective mechanism, a way to provide consistent leadership and decision-making, especially in crisis situations. Furthermore, societal expectations often reinforce that men should be the bedrock of stability for their families and communities, which can lead them to prioritize stoicism over open emotional expression. This understanding of why men might appear emotionally reserved is crucial. Recognizing the roots of this behavior can enhance empathy and improve the dynamics of interpersonal relationships. Understanding this could bridge a significant gap in the emotional communications between men and women. Competence, not power, drives many men. But is this always clear? In the discourse of gender dynamics, there's a prevalent notion that men primarily seek power. However, Jordan Peterson argues that the core motivator is often competence. This nuanced distinction is pivotal yet frequently overlooked. Men, according to Peterson, strive for mastery and efficiency in their endeavors, whether it's in their careers, hobbies, or relationships. This drive for competence is not about dominating others, but about fulfilling their potential and contributing effectively to society. Misinterpreting this drive as a simple lust for power can lead to significant misunderstandings. For instance, when a man works tirelessly, it's often seen through the lens of power acquisition. 
Yet more accurately, he might be driven by the need to be proficient and reliable, a cornerstone of his self-esteem and identity. This misinterpretation can skew perceptions and interactions, fostering unnecessary conflicts and misconceptions. Understanding that competence, not power, often guides men's actions and decisions is crucial. Recognizing this can change how achievements and ambitions are viewed in gender dynamics. Respect is a language unto itself, and for many men it's their primary dialect. This profound statement captures a crucial but often overlooked aspect of male communication. Jordan Peterson articulates that for men, respect isn't just a social nicety, it's a fundamental mode of interaction. Men often express respect through actions rather than words. A firm handshake, a steady gaze, or stepping up when needed are all powerful demonstrations of respect in the male lexicon. Conversely, the absence of these actions might not just be seen as neutral, but could be perceived as disrespect. This difference in expression and interpretation can create significant gaps in understanding between genders. Women might look for verbal affirmations and emotional sharing as signs of respect which are less frequently the language used by men. This divergence can lead to feelings of neglect or misunderstanding in interactions between men and women. Understanding this can illuminate much about male behavior. Decoding this language can lead to more harmonious relationships. Vulnerability isn't often associated with masculinity, but could this be a critical oversight? In the discourse on gender dynamics, male vulnerability emerges as a profoundly misunderstood concept. The traditional archetype of masculinity champions strength, stoicism and self-sufficiency. Yet beneath this rugged exterior often lies a complex emotional landscape that men struggle to navigate openly. Jordan Peterson argues that the hesitation many men feel towards expressing vulnerability isn't merely a personal choice, but a societal norm that has deep roots. In many cultures, a man's emotional openness is not seen as a strength, but as a deviation from expected masculine behavior. This perception creates a significant barrier to men's emotional well-being. Moreover, the misunderstanding of male vulnerability by women can often exacerbate this issue. When men do express vulnerability, it's not uncommon for their feelings to be misinterpreted, minimized, or worse, mocked. This reaction not only deepens the existing emotional rifts, but also discourages future openness. Peterson suggests that recognizing and validating male vulnerability should not be seen as undermining masculinity, but rather as enriching the human experience. It's about acknowledging that being vulnerable does not compromise one's strength, but highlights a courageous willingness to confront emotional complexities. Understanding this can lead to more supportive partnerships and friendships, where men feel safe to share their innermost thoughts and feelings. It's essential for both men and women to engage in conversations about emotional vulnerability without the cloud of judgment or stereotype. A deeper understanding of this aspect can foster greater empathy and stronger connections. As we've explored today, the landscape of male and female interactions is intricate and laden with misunderstandings. Diving into the biological underpinnings, we've seen how innate differences can shape perceptions and behaviors. The burden of performance, often shouldered silently by men, highlights a societal expectation steeped in both history and necessity yet it frequently goes unrecognized in dialogues about gender dynamics. We've also touched upon how men navigate emotional expression within the confines of stoicism. This isn't just a personal choice, but a cultural norm that affects how they are perceived and how they interact with the world. The crisis of competence and the language of respect further illustrate the unique challenges men face, challenges that are often invisible or misunderstood by society at large. Understanding male vulnerability requires us to look beyond the surface, to see the strength in what might be perceived as weakness, and to acknowledge the complexity of male experiences. By seeking to understand, rather than assume, we pave the way for more meaningful and respectful interactions between genders.